everyone, and welcome to Supervised Machine Learning in Python Part 2, Ensemble Methods. In recent years, we've seen a resurgence in AI, or artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Machine learning has led to some amazing results, like being able to analyze medical images and predict diseases on par with human experts. Google's AlphaGo program was able to beat a world champion in the strategy game Go using deep reinforcement learning. Machine learning is even being used to program self-driving cars, which is going to change the automotive industry forever. Imagine a world with drastically reduced car accidents simply by removing the element of human error. Google famously announced that they are now machine learning first, and many other companies like NVIDIA are following suit. So this is what's going to drive innovation in the coming years. Machine learning is embedded into all sorts of different products, and it's used in many industries like finance, online advertising, medicine, and robotics. It is a widely applicable tool that will benefit you no matter what industry you're in, and it will also open up a ton of career opportunities once you get good. Machine learning also raises some philosophical questions. Are we building a machine that can think? What does it mean to be conscious? Will computers one day take over the world? In this course, I've assumed you've already taken my first course on supervised learning so you're familiar with k-nearest neighbor and especially decision trees. This course is all about combining models, because when you do that, the result is something much more powerful than any individual machine learning model. This is called ensembling. Why are ensemble methods so important? You may have noticed that in almost every machine learning contest, the winners report using huge ensembles. This was the case for the Netflix prize and many contests on Kaggle. Ensemble methods are one of the most important and powerful machine learning tools, and they don't suffer as easily from the drawbacks of other machine learning methods. Of course, any of these techniques can be used no matter what field you are in, whether that be finance, biology, or online advertising. The great thing about machine learning is that it doesn't matter what field you're in, the algorithms stay the same. I'll see you in class.